you're in New York and you're thinking, is this who I want to be in, in the long run, My, like that culture? And the answer was no. So when you got into real estate, residential real estate, the, the, is the thought, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. So who cares about the short game? I'm playing the long game. Yep. Does that give you more confidence to not be money voting? Because I can align with that for sure. It's like, this is the long game. No one needs to get it. Exactly. For and the look, first and 10 I years. Share, I share okay. this with so many people when we talk about like money motivation and, you know, it's people who relate to me and say like, oh, I'm motivated by helping people and what should I do? Because maybe, you know, sometimes I have to say no to business because it doesn't fit within my model or, or whatever. And I always say to them, like, look, you work in real estate or you work in finance or you work in, in whatever industry, like you're naturally going to make money if you follow your passion. I think. And I've been very fortunate in my career financially. I, I've been in a wonderful position. I'm very blessed. Um, but I work hard for that. I work very hard for that. But I, I'm true to my core. Your core beliefs. Yeah. And so like an example would be when I first started the business, I said I defined a geographical area in which I was willing to work. And that area was Gerard, you know the city, yeah. Gerard to Washington Avenues, river to river. So it was the core 10 neighborhoods of Center City when I started in 2013. Now we know Center City has exploded since then. Yeah. But in the beginning, I wanted to work in this geographical boundary. Why? Because I knew it. I knew it really well. I had, I owned a home in Old City. I had lived in Rittenhouse Square. You know, I had gone out in Fairmount. I knew those neighborhoods wow, okay. very well. And I wanted to build expertise within those neighborhoods. And so it was really hard when you first start, right? You're hungry. You, you need to get sales so that you can propel build, your business. Yeah. You've got to build. But I would say no if the opportunity was outside of that rectangle. Wow. Okay. So, okay. So, so talk you... about being like true to who you wanted to defining yourself and being true to it. So let's say I had an opportunity, for example, on the main line. Yeah. I would work to find referral partners out there because I wasn't going to take on something I couldn't be an expert Because that was against your, your character. 